Superintendent Jennifer McCormick is expected to talk later on today about COVID-19 impacts on education. All this coming as dozens of Indiana school districts have already reopened for in-person classes or are planning to in the coming weeks. Several organizations are calling on the state to do more to make the process easier on educators. And our Charlene Cristobal joins us live from the State House with more. Charlene, good morning. Good morning, Jess. Yeah, you know, several of these teachers' organizations, they believe that the state is just not doing enough to keep students, teachers, and staff safe during the pandemic as they head back to school. Now, they're just leaving it up to districts to really plan everything out themselves. Now, there's where they say that the state should really work with the districts and the community to create a benchmark of sorts for them to follow across the board so everyone is on the same page in the state. The ISTA has called for school buildings to only reopen if coronavirus cases cases are under control in that particular community and also for specific protections in place for students to keep them and staff safe from the virus. Now some districts in our area we've mentioned to you have returned for in-person classes, virtual or a combination of the two. Even with several learning options though, the organization says teachers are still under a lot of strain. So guidance from the state for that would be very helpful and it would help ease the the stress that educators and families are feeling about what what is driving the decision making for return to to school Meanwhile, the American Federation of Teachers Indiana chapter echoes that same message. They believe schools should only reopen for in-person classes if teachers and schools are given PPE, funding for safety resources, and COVID-19 cases are under control. The Federation says that the state can't put these things in place for educators to feel safe, then they should be allowed to do 100% virtual classes. Now, the state superintendent is expected to talk about these things, the impact that COVID-19 has had on education in a virtual press conference at 10 this morning. We'll let you know what happens. That's the latest from the State House. Charlene Crispel, Fox 59 News.